What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 181 of the JLS Gaming Show. I'm your host, Will A.K. LaSalle. Let's do it. Let's get right into it. Sorry, I just got a text message from the beautiful Liliana LaSalle. Um, we're doing this one. It's just a pop-up in the middle of the day on Sunday. Um, I'm actually, you know, going to go for, crossing my fingers here, guys, right? Going to go for uh, about 15 minutes or less, right? Just want to recap. You know go through everything and and keep the ball rolling man episode 181 man well on our way to our 200 episode spectacular uh <laughs> whenever that happens soon and everything like that right um as in previous episodes this episode is sponsored by parks and amuse um what i also want to say while i'm looking right now for the name of the winner shout outs to ali ali right um Shout out to Ali Ali. And so the winner of the Street Fighter contest from our brother from another mother, Ali Ali, 16 bits and bops, right? As well as uh where was it? Oops, sorry. Um, as well as at Multi-Tap Gaming Hub was the location it was at, right? So they had the Street Fighter tournament over there in the UK um that we've been you know talking about and sponsoring, and the winner. Come here, winner, right? The winner, Mike M, I believe, right? Beat out my boy, Retro the Chef, in the finals. Come on, we got to get some video about that, guys. Retro the Chef, I was trying to see. I was trying to see it on your stream. You know what I'm trying to say? And all that good stuff, right? But uh, congratulations to the winner, right? And let's get it on. Let's get it on right here in Pie Packer, man. You know what I'm trying to say? Seize the Leo is ranked number first. Let's get it on right here, man. You know, trying to say the winner over there playing, you know, can can get it in over here with with me, man. Um, as always, hit me up, Will at JLSGaming.com. Any kind of collabos, any info, um, all that good stuff, sponsorship inquiries, or you know, trying to say you want to send us product, you want us to plug you, you know, you got everything like that 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 you need, right? What game are you currently playing? mother three on the analog pocket look at that beautiful screen guys look at that look at that screen look at that beautiful device oh shout out to cricks on an everdrive gba ouch that's the latest version of the mother three with the english translation man i gotta go through that it takes a while to beat you know earthbound mother one right what what is which is here it's called earthbound beginnings um, and let's see, man. Let's see if if what they're gonna do, uh, etc., with respects to uh, you know GBA and stuff like that coming out on the Nintendo uh, Switch online service, right? Two year anniversary, so let's get into some news, right? Um, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna catch this on the replay, catch this with the translations. Our friends all around the world that watch the JLS Gaming Show. Uh, so we hit our two-year anniversary. That was also Tuesday. We were able to give out the two, the, the twenty-five thousand subscriber PS5. Congratulations to WizRT, right? Um, I wanted to talk about a few things. I'll bounce around real quick. Uh, Midwest Gaming Classic, right? That's coming up. We're sponsoring that. Let us know in the comments. You know, if you're going to be there, be sure to check out the Future Game Classics section, right? Shout outs to Steve out there. You know, shout out to TJX. Any of you guys are attending. Unfortunately, I can't attend. If there's some last minute miracle, I'll fly in, fly out. But seriously doubt it. But we'll be in the house more than likely next year. You know, God willing and all that good stuff, right? We had our first what not stream yesterday, an auction with a lot of giveaways. I think we gave away like 20 items. Um, we And we auctioned off about 14, 15 items, right? And um, it was good, man. You know, auctioned on, you know, got people wanting KFC, craving KFC, uh, you know, because of the, uh, you know, uh, craving PS, craving it because talking about the manuals being so crispy and all that good stuff, right? Um, with that said, you know, uh, let's get into what we wanted to talk about real quick. In-game ads. Now, there's rumors that both Sony and Microsoft you know what I'm trying to say? Let me turn this off because the, the thing in the background um, and then put it into sleep mode. 
Okay, beautiful. Uh, the noise in the background and all, whatever like that was, I was hearing it and a, and a slight echo in my headset. But anyway, talking about in-game ads, right? So, you know, here at JLS Gaming, we, we like to talk to things from a business perspective as well. And guys, you know, and we read between the lines on why these companies and what this means to you, right? So a lot of people, they'll just write because they sit there and they just say, oh, they want, want you to get all in, in fury and everything like that, that there's going to be in-game ads. Well, guys, there's been in-game ads, right, before, right? There's been in-game ads in sports games. There's been, right now we have the Kawabunga, right, the, the Konami Kawabunga collection coming out. And probably the big delay in it because instead of them just using ROMs, they got to do some ROM hacks to take out songs to take out ads, right? Uh, Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, whatever, ads, right? Um, and I'm not doing no shameless plugs or whatever like that. For Pepsi or anything like that, we're not being sponsored by Pepsi, you guys. Um, I just needed something with caffeine in it, guys. But anyway, so what this means to you, with it means that companies are looking like, like you know most companies at how they can make more revenue how they can maximize revenue i mean we didn't we didn't think sports teams in the u.s would start having patches you know what i'm trying to say and sponsorships on the jerseys right and that happened right to mimic uh what happens in football international football right um so what ends up happening with in-game ads it, it's going to be something that you see you kind of see it already the problem, the problem that really, and what you guys need to be thinking, this is more so of a push for digital games, right? Where, um, and even physical games are going to have patches and updates, right? You always notoriously see patches and updates and new firmwares. It'll say bug fixes, cleaning stuff up under the hood. They're very nebulous, vague, uh, you know, notes in update sections. Well, you're going to get that where it's just going to be right um there's some games that you already have that in right you have netflix trying to figure out ways to maximize revenue offering a cheaper tier that's going to be ad you know uh supported right um and, and ads are as old as time in terms of right mad men took place in what madison avenue in the 60s or something like that right so you, you got to understand that these these advertisements and in-game ads, here's the thought process that, that I think. It's going to push it for digital more, right? It's going to make it where they can do it dynamically. So you're sitting there making updates or it has code in the background that's sitting there and they can just dynamically stream ads, right? Putting on my privacy and cybersecurity hat, now you're going to have to sit there and do things where they're tracking you they're tracking your habits right it's a uh, big brother watching because they want to be able to send you better more targeted ads as a parent you know what kind of ads are your kids going to be seeing in game right um product placement etc but what most people don't realize is you get that a lot in movies right marvel movies right and stuff like that um what was it with the audis or whatever like that and tony stark whatever car he was he was driving and showboating in, in the iron man movies or in avenger movies and stuff so you got to understand that this is this it makes sense from a business perspective again it doesn't make sense from a gamer perspective right um or maybe it does right but at the end of the day you know you you got to understand that right that's what makes the world go round. that's one of the biggest drivers around why i took jls gaming our channel away from monetization right i want to support all the community and i support you guys but i just don't support the business practices um that they're doing and the things that they're doing to kind of tarnish um what we're trying to build as a brand right i'm not out here uh building this stuff we're not out here building the jls gaming community um and and collaborating and and doing great things with a lot of the content creators gaming companies and stuff like that out there we're not doing it in the interest of making money for ourselves right it's it's more for raising raul como estas raising everything for the community right guys so that's what we're trying to do with that said right so just think about that that different perspective on what's going to happen and what in my 
opinion this is going to lead to right so it's really going to lead to uh games that really are going to be hard to be collectible for because they're just going to be dynamically updating or they're going to have some code injection um which is going to uh you know really drive it from a from from a ad perspective right um especially you know look at that for all these these games that have long shelf life right seasons um they're gonna be able to you play it for two a, a community for two three four years of playing that game right and those kind of ads within that game ak start of the day want to give out some community love man and i and I, I just i just love the community man so again some more shout outs you know we had a great time yesterday on whatnot but let me give some content creator shout outs shout out to the cons that was familia we are definitely going to get together you know uh miss cons are us mrs cons are us and b kong right they had a great episode this morning on um, sunday fun day and um with connecting cabinets to be able to play racing games and, and the connected that was phenomenal and it just had me thinking right like i really want to try to do that maybe not by this year because we still got to repair the game room it's down right um we're still waiting on the insurance contractors now everything is paid for you know so now it's not even insurance is fault now it's getting the contractors in to lay down the floor and fix the walls and stuff like that right um once we get the game room redone probably do a 2022 video or something like that i think for 2023 it's something that i want to explore connecting viewlexes trulexes or something like that and, and doing something like that right um we still got issues too with our unit um our our main machine marvel versus capcom 2 cap and i got the sending gun so i gotta get those things situated and um got a surprise another thing coming into the to the game room um that you'll see follow us on instagram facebook etc right um staying on the youtube side shout out to ayrton Raul for winning and being some loyal you know members of the jls gaming community shout out to uag you know, trying to say uh, thanks for the love on the whatnot stream as well. Shout out to Mad Dad's Gaming, Glenn's Retro Show, uh, that Game Dragon, T Jax, and I know I'm messing. Retro Gaming Revival, 16 Bits and Bobs, Ali Ali, right? Um, Retro the Chef, right? Thank you guys. Uh, you know, and I know I'm missing other guys, man, from the YouTube tip. Let me get on to whatnot, man, and uh. You know, oops, what not community, right? Really want to shout out uh back into cards, Mike, both YouTube and whatnot, and you know, TikTok and everything like that. Uh shout out to Cup of Retro, man. Thanks a lot, man. We really interact a lot. Sorry, I'll, I'll be missing you guys, let's say, you know, at Col at Corbs, I believe. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Game night arcade, our, our friends from South Florida, right? No continues, Chris, right? Uh shout outs to Kingdom Games, Lackey Exchange. Kingdom Games had a PS5 raffle last night on whatnot, man. Uh, too late for me, though, man. I was on for a little bit, but I couldn't stay on to see. Uh, LA Retro Rewind, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul. And Sandra, you know, shout out to her and everything like that. Um, shout out to Retro Pollo, right? Popular opinion, great guy, great trivia. We won the trivia, I won the trivia. You know what I'm trying to say? And I fat fingered Ermac. I said Ermac and it auto corrected to relax. I would have had three entries, but my two entries was enough to win the spinning wheel, man. So again, I'm I'm sharpening up my for the trivia coming in like a week or two. But follow him. Popular Opinions got a great stream, great Instagram channel as well. On um, whatnot. Um, we'll have the link below. Uh shout outs to Retro Raven. These guys got a great store. I'm gonna see if I can stop on the store. We're doing Southern Fried Game Expo. Um, and I'm driving up right so when we do that if i can on the ride up or the ride down you know what i'm trying to say we're over here in the orlando area uh, i'm gonna see if i can stop into that store right great store shout out to rumple 69 rmt right rmt man this guy streams and giveaways he gave away an xbox series x and an xbox series s on his whatnot stream you guys gotta follow him man right that's amazing side quiz games you know what i'm saying that's the fmt the foot money team they know what that's about right but those guys and when, when we go to prge in portland we'll follow those guys right and again i went over like always you know um and watch gang i'm trying to get a watch from there so now they do watches on there 
but it's crazy because some people run up these auctions for more than what the game i mean what the watch is actually worth it's crazy it, it, it'll say there oh this is a 500 dollars watch and the auction will go to 600 bucks i get it where you're supporting the streamers and anything like that um you're supporting the whatnot platform but again that's crazy 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 guys anyway let me show show you some i'm always forgetting about that love you guys everything like that um please like and subscribe and let's wrap things up episode 182 is coming sometime this week i've been real busy at work guys sorry about that um and this is going to be a busy week so one evening this week i will sneak in um an episode right with some updates and some news well ha hasn't been that big of a news week right and a lot of content creators are kind of like taking some time off some chill time with family i respect that do that right you know what i'm trying to say family first man you know um we're doing another giveaway when we get to 50,000 subs, maybe a year from now, year and a half, two years from now. But whenever we get to 50,000 subs, we'll give them away a console of your choice, as long as it's current console, right? So stay tuned. You know, we'll just keep mentioning it, but I'm not going to do videos or nothing like that and spam it across the internet. You guys know. And all you got to be is a subscriber, right? And and we're going to pick randomly from the channel, randomly from a, from a comment. So at 50,000 subs, so you got at least a one in 50,000 chance, even though that's a little too easy. Uh, there's not no other news that we really wanted to talk about. But as always, we love you guys. Peace.